everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome to another 15 minute mixer where we're going to hang out for a few minutes and talk about a few things and show a few things and just have a little bit of hangout. Uh, so you can set your timer for 15 minutes and get busy, get jiggy doing something, or you can just listen to me in the background. And you know, I'm usually here a little longer than 15 minutes. So as you can see in front of me, I have a whole slew of gifts that my subscribers have sent me and they were thank yous. And I have to say this over and over again, it's truly me that has to thank you for what you bring into my life. Honestly, not what I give to you. Because what I give to you is nothing in comparison as to what I get back from all of you lovely, lovely people. So thank you. But up first, I do have some happy mail from Betsy. And Betsy, one thing I want to say right now is that you have the prettiest handwriting if I had your handwriting, I probably would journal all my pages. You have very pretty handwriting. So she sent me this beautiful thank you card. And then she sent me these lovelies. And she was like, now, if you don't if you don't like these or if you have these, because she saw these Heidi Swap uh, embellishments, these acrylic stars, and she saw in a video that I said if I had found another pack, I would buy one. She found a pack and she sent them to me. So thank you, Betsy. I love these Heidi Swap. They're so good for everything. Of course, I love them for Disney. But then she said, if I already had these other items that I could give them away. And you know what, Betsy? I don't have these at all. I do not have these. I do not have these wood veneer. And I do not have the 6 by 6 paper pad. And this wood veneer will be per, uh, beautiful in the heritage layouts that I'm doing. So thank you so much. Very much appreciative. I'm just... I'm just amazed that every day I'm getting an email or a text message or a gift or something in the mail for my subscribers. Sometimes it overwhelms me. And I say to my husband, I, I don't feel like sometimes I deserve this. And he says, yes, you do. Yes, you do. But I really don't feel that I do. I feel like I'm... Uh, I just do this to be of service. And of course, you know, I love this hobby. And if somebody wants to listen to me ramble... Well, I'm all for it. So thank you, Betsy. You're so, so dear. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And of course, I will be using those Heidi Swap stars. You know I will. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so now let's talk about a couple questions I have. I've had. And so we're going to just do a little bit of everything. But first, I keep forgetting to uh, ask Alice. <laughs> Alice Adler, you had said at one time that you had spied this Diet Dr. Pepper Flare in my binder. And I pulled it out right after I read that comment. And I keep forgetting to ask you to send me your email so my or send me your uh, mailing address. I have a couple other things I want to send to you. Uh, so Alice Adler, yes, <laughs> please send me your address. And I want to get this Diet Dr. Pepper Flare to you because she had a story to go with this Diet Dr. Pepper Flair, and it would be perfect for your story. So when you get this, Alice, I want you to record this story, what, what you were telling me about. Just very fun. Of course, I have a couple other things for you. So look below, Alice. My email will be there. Shoot me an email, and I will get that to you. I just keep forgetting. I've had it in this bowl for so long. <laughs> And so I had to just keep making a note. So Alice Adler, please reach out to me uh, so I can get that flair to you and a couple other goodies. Okay, so another question I've been getting lately is um, what does RTS mean and how did I come up with that? And so let me just tell you a little story. So uh, RTS stands for record the story. Uh, but that honestly just came to me one day. It wasn't something I came up with because years ago, I always thought if I had a YouTube channel that I would name it uh, Lego My Echo <laughs> because of my love of Echo Park. And so, you know, the, I think it's waffles or something. It's Lego My Echo. I always thought I would name my channel Lego My Echo <laughs> because let go of my Echo Park paper. That's exactly what I thought I would name it. So it's so funny. And I just recently was thinking about that because I got in some questions about what does RTS mean. And so it does mean record this story. And that was not something I came up with. It just came to me one day. And the truth of it is, is that one day I was thinking about uh, just thinking about things, how I could be of service, and then all of a sudden it was laid on my heart, and I wrote three pages of notes, and that is how my channel started. I don't feel that it came from me. It wasn't my idea. It came from above, truly, and so that is how it all started. Uh, it was laid on my heart, and uh, I just wrote all these things out, and it all came to fruition. So isn't that something? So uh, thanks to the Lord above. So uh, the second little package I have here 
came from Mary Nickenbacher. And so, Mary, I want to thank you for this beautiful card. You know I'm going to love this wood grain right off the bat. And, of course, I love this die cut. And it says, count your blessings. You know I love that. Thank you so much. And thank you for what you wrote inside. It means a lot to me. And then she sent me all of these goodies. Some Chamel glitter stickers that I don't even own. And I tell you what, and I think this must be from Sparkle City. Look how many is on there. It says 358. Perfect for Disney pages. So thank you, Mary. I don't have that. And I do not have these burlap uh, beautiful embellishments. And so this will be perfect for my heritage layouts. I really think I'm going to get that on one of my pages. And some photo corners in yellow. Oh, I think Mary knows me. Absolutely. And then an outdoor tag. And then these Doodlebug Acute Clips, which I've never, ever gotten those. And so thank you, Mary. I really appreciate this. But you did not have to thank me for your uh, for your little prize. You didn't have to. You really didn't. So thank you. You are so kind. Believe me. I need to thank you. You don't need to thank me. <laughs> no. Okay, so another question I got recently was about uh, when I was talking about some Christmas things. And a lot of people have asked me, where did I find those peppermint candies? And I wanted to tell you that I spied something when I was working on the SOS series is that Doodlebug recently came out with some peppermint twist shape sprinkles. So basically they're peppermint enamel dots um, and they call them sprinkles. And so I wanted to show you what they look like. They're $4.99. And let's see how many do you get in there. 45. But look at the colors. And so this is a cherry on top. But any place that sells Doodlebug, this is a recent release. So definitely uh, look for them now because I probably, I'm sure they won't be available next year. Doodlebug has its um, serious group of fans. So sometimes Doodlebug sells out quick. So you do get 45 of these uh, peppermint. And they have pink, red, yellow, green, and blue. I love this. If I wasn't on a spending freeze, I definitely would grab that. I think they're beautiful. And I think they're not only good for Christmas and gingerbread houses, but I think these are good for any type of um, any type of fun layout with these colors. I would use them on Disney. And then they also had this same type of product. Let me see if I can go back. If I can. Hold on a minute. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, man, I am not very equipped with this iPad. I really just turn it on. But they also had a set that came out uh, around Halloween. And even though they're Halloween colors, you could still use these because they're pink, orange, the lime green, not so much, but the purple and the black. Definitely you could use those. Again, they called them Candy Carnival, and there's 45 Again, $5. I think that's a little steep, but Doodlebug is known for being a little higher in price than any other manufacturer. And, um, but I won't go there. But anyways, if you want some of these peppermint dots now, um, since Christmas releases are coming out, that would be the time. And those are the two that I spied. Those are both by Doodlebug. And so I will have the link below. Uh, those are a cherry on top, but any place that sells Doodlebug will have them in the current release. So I wanted to show that. So then I have another little... Thank you. And I'm telling you something. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Janine, when you sent this, I wasn't expecting something that you put in this. And so, of course, she sent me this beautiful thank you card and a beautiful sentiment inside. Thank you so much, Janine. You have no idea your encouragement every single day it means a lot to me. And then she sent me some of this ephemera pack and I don't have... E I don't have either one of these because I will not spend the money for these. So thank you so much. Uh, the Cartabella Cartography. I mean, look at these images. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love it. And then the Simple Stories Winter Farmhouse. And I was just talking about this in our SOS series because I would not have spent the money for this. But these are just so beautiful. Thank you so much. And so then what do you think that Janine had inside this card? She uh, recently went to Crop and Create. I think that was it. So she had talked to Shamel, our lovely Shamel, and Shamel wrote me a note. Now, isn't this the most dearest thing? I actually got a tear in my eye. <laughs> I really, I really did, Janine. This is just too precious. And so she says, keep learning, keep sparkling, keep making. Love, Shamel. She even dated it, and she put X's and O's, and she has my name. 
this is going on a scrapbook page because I've never met Chamel. I've talked to her a couple times via email about certain things. She's just absolutely a precious person and someone I think that is, um, she's underrated for what she has contributed to our hobby and for years and years and years and many times for free. So Janine, for you to do that, it was so very special and it will always remain very special. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That was just Chamel. I mean, we're talking to Chamel. Oh, yes. Oh, what a lovely, lovely person. And that was a lovely, lovely thing for you to do. Thank you, Jeanine. I really, really, I really appreciate that. More than you could know. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about is, let's see. I have my notes here. Is that uh, two more things. If you have uh, punches or tools or dies or anything that's not working properly, the best thing you can do is contact the manufacturer and say, hey, there is a problem with this. There's a defect in this product. How can I get a replacement? And if it's a quality company, they would be more than happy to replace it, just so you know that you may have to send it back. So keep that in the back of your mind. If that's not something you want to be bothered with, then you know don't contact them because sometimes they will ask you to send the item back, which is only fair because... You don't just want people contacting and saying, I got a bad product, and then they get something for free because that happens. Truly, it does happen. And so I'm always prepared to send the item back because this does me no good if it doesn't work. So I have had one of these EK Success, and this is called the Large, what is this called? The Large Five Leaf Branch. And it there is something with it. It would not punch correctly. There was something inside that was preventing it from punching it correctly. So I finally took the time, took a picture of it, and I sent it to American Crafts. And I will have that information listed below. And so that lovely, lovely gal sent me a replacement. And she didn't ask me to send the other one back, but I was prepared to because it may, it does no use to me. It's not... I can't give it away because it doesn't work, so it's going to end up in the trash or recycling bin. So I will have the information for American Crafts customer service link below. If you have a punch or a sticker pack or something that has a defect, contact them and they will always try, well, they will try. <laughs> Most of the time, they try to make sure that you are happy with your product. So I definitely wanted to show that. And then also, it's not just American Crafts. Fiskars has lifetime warranty. And so I recently... No, this isn't recently. I think this was la it was last year uh, that I had gotten a couple punches and they did not punch well. And I'm not going to say where I got them because I don't. I think I might have got them at Tuesday morning or I might have got them at Michaels on Clearance. It was somewhere. And so then when I got them home and they didn't work, I thought, oh, is that why they were on clearance or was that why they were Tuesday morning? No, there was just a defect. So of course, with Fiskars, it's lifetime warranty. Whether it's your trimmer, your punches, even if you have these edge punches and Linda Linda and I were just talking about that and she said she had recently purged some because they didn't work for her but you can absolutely contact the manufacturer and they will replace them now sometimes if it's an older product in this case one of these Fiskars punches I'm not sure which one it was an older product and they didn't have that so they just sent me something that was similar of a replacement which is fine for me because I couldn't use what I already had so always remember that contact the manufacturer especially for a punch or a die, those things are expensive. If you can't, uh, if it doesn't work right, contact them. And if it's a quality company, which we know Fiskars and American Crafts, sometimes we get a little wonky with American Crafts, but they are a good company and they want to see their customers happy. And uh, there is a great gal in charge of cu customer service right now. So those two informations for Fiskars and American Crafts will be listed below. And it's interesting about this five leaf punch. I think there was a pro problem in this one batch of production because I saw several, several people talking about this exact punch. So if you have this and it's a problem, it may just be a defective run on this punch. So definitely contact the company. Okay, so then the last thing I wanted to talk about in this mixer because I have so much going on. I'm working on the 4 for 4 series, the Heritage Round. I'm working on my Kid Crunch at this time. And then I had something going on. <laughs> I have something else planned that I wanted to do uh, during the Thanksgiving holiday. But it's going to have to be pushed into December. But something fun, a little mini series. So uh, I have a hot mess of everything. And then I lost something. And I tore my entire room apart looking for that. And lo and behold, it wasn't even in this room. I was so frustrated with myself. 
Oh, and I know you are all shaking your head because we've all had that. And so the thing is, is that I had my room in such pristine, organized manner. And I will tell you that usually only lasts about three days. And then you get to scrapbooking and crafting and, to, you know, working on pages. And it's a creative mess. That's all it is. But as long as we're creating, who cares? So uh, what I want to talk about is that I've gotten a lot of questions about word stickers. And this is why. Because I show and I use a lot of word stickers because that's just one of my basics and it's one of my favorite things to use. And so uh, I want to talk about word stickers. And so, you know, for a lot of us that have been scrapbooking a long time, this type of product was uh, mainstream at one time. It was just like every release, every manufacturer, every collection had word stickers. Well, then they got away from it. And uh, this was a really inexpensive thing to add to papers uh, when you didn't want to spend a lot of money. I really miss them. And so sometimes if I would see them, you know, I always stocked up on them. So what I wanted to say, long story short, is that word stickers basically is one of those things you have to seek out. And when you see them, you have to buy them because it's not readily available as it once was. And the, the one I want to recommend, of course, is the Tim Holtz Ideology. These are still available. You can still get them at Hobby Lobby half off when they're on sale. Tuesday morning sometimes has them. And then um, a cherry on top, scrapbook.com. They still have them. Just look in the Tim Holtz ideology. Don't look in word stickers. Sometimes it won't show up on those searches. So Tim Holtz ideology. There's big talk, small talk, small talk occasions, big chat, and uh, small talk. And s one of these are snarky something. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, snarky. And so these, even though they're basic colors, they're black and white. And the 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 bonus is, is that they'll work on any page because they are black and white. But then they are just black and white. And then I wanted to say that in Dear Lizzie's newest release, She's Magic, she had a stick of word stickers. Uh, and I'll have that linked below, so look for that. And I think there was one other. I think that was the only collection I saw in this fall release that had a pack of word stickers. But there are a couple other places that you can look for word stickers. You just have to look for them. And when you see them, get them because they do sell out quickly. And so with it, when it comes to word stickers, you can definitely look into sticker books. And a lot of people have sticker books. And of course, American Crafts comes out with a lot of them. Uh, this is by Paper Studio. And I only got this because I think it was like a $1.24 or something one day. So within that, they do have some little word stickers and that is uh, where you can look for some in sticker books however the downside is sticker books are not cheap even if you get them half off it's still 10 11 dollars and i don't feel in some of the sticker books that's on the market nowadays i don't think they're quality and when i uh, get stickers this is what i do I always look to see what is the weight of the stickers. If it's a thin sticker, I really don't care for it. Sometimes you just have to, um, you just have to buy thin stickers because that's what's available. But if I have a choice and I have a lot of this, I won't buy thin stickers because I just don't care for them. So I wanted to show that if you are into faith-based word stickers, something that's still available, as American Crafts came out with a two-pack word stickers these are all faith-based of course they're in gold foil they're beautiful i will have that link below because they're still available that's kind of a new product and then also simple stories has these thing called sticker sheets sticker packs and within this sticker pack you get eight of these sheets they're about five dollars and within that sticker packs, and this is just something I want you to take a notice of, is that they have an entire four by six sheet. And that's nothing but those word stickers that everybody is looking for. But the quality is not, it's okay. That's all I'm going to say. It's nothing great. It's nothing fantastic. They're kind of on the wimpy side, but they are pretty and they're still word stickers. So uh, I don't, I don't buy a lot of these because I don't use these type of stickers all the time. I can use those. And I think these are more geared for the planner type gals. But you can still use them for scrapbooking and cards and all that. So if that is something that you could use, all these different sizes, look into these sticker packs by Simple Stories. Because they do. They have a single sheet of nothing but word stickers. So, you know, it's Simple Stories. We love them. So that is an, uh, another idea. And then the last place to look for word stickers is because uh, in a, is a place that's going to be combined with other stickers. So sometimes, especially with Maggie Holmes, you're going to find these word stickers and you're going to find them 
along in a sticker sheet with other type of stickers. So you have to seek them out. And so Echo Park and Photo Play, Simple Stories that have the 12 by 12 sticker sheets, sometimes you'll see a few rows of those word stickers on those sticker sheets. So it's one of those things you have to look for, but when you see it, buy it. Uh, you know, it depends on what you want to pay for. You know, when you get something like this for $1.99, I think this is absolutely a great balance. You get the word stickers and then you also get these stickers that are very, very usable and then very, very usable colors. So that's what I wanted to talk about. I get that question basically every week because, you know, a lot of people see this whole bin of word stickers and so this basically has just been ones I've collected over the years because, like I said, manufacturers used to come out with them. <laughs> they used to be 79 cents. At one time, they were 59 and 69 and 79 cents, 99 cents, and then a dollar nine, dollar nineteen, and now they just don't even really come out with them. So it's one of those things you just have to look for. And if you do searches, sometimes you'll find them under word stickers, sometimes word labels, and sometimes they're simply just under the group of stickers. You have to just basically look for them. It's, it's just kind of hard. But I will say with these Tim Holtz ideology, definitely look into these now. They're still available, and they're definitely in usable colors with the black and white. So that's what I wanted to show. And then if you like faith-based look into this American Crafts Devotion line. I will have those links below. So I think that is what I have for this 15-minute mixer. I want to thank Betsy and Mary and Janine for that happy mail. Just very, very kind of you to send me just wonderful things. It brightens my day. And for what you write in your cards, uh, I keep all of those. They, those mean a lot to me. And so I really, really appreciate that. But at the end of the day, I feel like I need to always say thank you for the, what you bring into my life because I was, you know, dealing with empty nest and just, I was just down in the doldrums. I couldn't get with the program and I was just like, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? So for what you add to my life <laughs> is nothing compared to what I, um, put here on YouTube. So I just want to thank you and thank you. And then also to Alice, do not forget to email me. I want to get this Dr. Pepper flair to you so you can record that story you were telling me. It was just a precious story. So that is all I have for today. And you know, we will have another mixer coming up. The holidays are coming. Enjoy the holidays. Be creative. Enjoy that family time. And then along with that family time, don't forget to have a piece of paper and a pen nearby or your phone, wherever you take your notes, because during the family holidays and things like that, that's where a lot of stories come out and about. So I'm always writing those story down, stories down. And you can, uh, use, even though if you don't have a photo, you can use those stories and then create some story-based layouts in the future. So I always look forward to that, or especially around Thanksgiving and Christmas when families get together and all the stories, sometimes good, sometimes bad, sometimes those stories appear, that's the time to write them down and keep them in a notebook. And so don't forget to keep that camera out and about. Keep it on the kitchen counter and snap photos, snap and snap. That way you have photos to scrapbook next year. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to do. Bye.